Yeah, I I absolutely um, agree. I think, um, you know, you, you'll have friends where you're like, wow, they're they're doing so well in their career or they're making more than me. And then you'll have friends where, you know, you're a relative in your own metrics, you're doing better than them. Um, I guess two pieces of advice there. One is someone told me like, don't think about where, where you, where you are at when you're 23, 24, 25, you're, you should be thinking about where do you want to be when you're 30, 35, 40. And, you know, a lot of people are headed in the same direction, will end up in the same place. So it's silly to think about, how are you positioning yourself against someone one to two years out? Um, so I, I, and I just think quite frankly, you're not gonna be a happy person if you're constantly in comparison mode. Um, and once you start working also, you'll realize that there's more sources of happiness than just your career trajectory and where you are in your career. There's a lot of personal life. Uh, personal life can give a lot of happiness like relationships, um, the things you're doing for fun, hobbies and activities. And then, and then advice number two, I, I had a friend who, when I was in consulting, he was an associate and um, I was, I, uh, I was leaving BCG and I was like, I don't know if this is the right move. I really like BCG. I don't know what the right answer is. And he's like, you know, like when you were in high school, life was really easy. You just get good grades, take the AP classes and apply to the best school. You get into the best school you get into, you go there. And then in college, you start having to make some decisions. But for a lot of us who go into the consulting banking career paths, it actually like, I feel like it still feels like a very secure decision. There's a large pack of people going into it. And then once you're in your first job, it's it, and then you're looking what's next and you're trying to build your career path, that's the first time you're really like, you can walk away from the pack. You can do unique things. Um, and, you know, just accept that. Like, uh, think about what do you want to do. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to You don't have to be more successful relative to whatever metrics you have in your head than someone else. Think about... Where do you want to be? And you go, go kind of define your own path and measure yourself on where you are up to your own path rather than consistently comparing yourself to others because there's a plethora of different things you could be doing at the end of the day. Like really well said. I think that just needs to resonate with people. I think you get that with experience. Obviously, you know, we all think that things are...